Tom Packer, forensic biologist, Alberta Fish and Wildlife Forensic Unit. Just, uh, DNA is found in uh, just about every biological material an animal has in it, hair, hide, blood, tissue. The things that we often look for in a wildlife investigation, those all contain DNA. And as Dr. Jobin mentioned, we can get usable DNA from a minute sample. We call it a trace sample. It's very difficult for a poacher to take a head home or a load of meat home without leaving some evidence containing DNA on his clothing, on his vehicle, on his knife, on some of his possessions, so it gives us something to go on. And finally, the third reason DNA is great for forensics is we can use really old DNA. It lasts a long time, a skeleton that's been out in the wilderness for months or even years, uh, a trophy that's been mounted by a taxidermist, a rug, antlers in someone's possession, um, those, the DNA will be usable for a long, long time. So a fish and wildlife officer investigating a crime long after the fact can still get evidence that's valuable for us in the lab. All right, as you can see, you've got some shavings coming out of the antler of the deer. And uh, this might not look like very much, but that's probably enough. That's probably 10 times more than I need to do the uh, uh, DNA typing process. I need five to 10 milligrams of antler to do this. So, uh, create a little funnel. Okay, that's it. Our evidence is sampled. And uh, the next stage in this, uh, this process is gonna be the D DNA extraction. Install it into our Kingfisher ML.